we'll give all praise to Yahweh by Shemi Osha by Shemur Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles for the edification and knowledge. And the Wadi Yahweh Shemi Osha for putting the spirit of the elders and apostles so we become edified regarding this truth and knowledge. Call all your Yahweh Shemi Osha by Shemur Kakadash. Give all praise to Yahweh by Shemi Osha by Shemur Kakadash. These scriptures relating to uh, sudden destruction. First of Thessalonians 5 and 3. While they are saying peace and safety, then sudden destruction will come upon them suddenly like labor pains upon a woman with child and they will not escape. And that's what's going to happen, man. So when they think that they are in a peace and um, in a place of peace, then um, destruction is going to come upon them. Like, um, unexpectedly man it's gonna catch them off guard man it's gonna be like that thief in the night I'm gonna catch them off guard when they least expect it man Proverbs 6 and 15 therefore his calamity will come suddenly instantly he will be broken and there will be no healing so that that's 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 that destruction and that calamity is gonna come suddenly and instantly is going to break and there will be no healing. So there's not going to be no form of remedy, man. It's going to come quickly, it's going to come fast, and there's not going to be nothing pretty much nobody can do about it. And that relates to that judgment, man, because the destruction is the judgment, man. When your dread comes, Proverbs 1 and 27, when your dread comes like a storm and your calamity comes like a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, that's that destruction, man. It's going to be like that storm, it's going to be like that whirlwind. And it's going to be, and it's going to come upon the inhabitants of the world. Proverbs, um, 24 and 22 for their calamity will rise suddenly and who knows the ruin that comes from both of them so it's going to come suddenly because it's going to be like when they say peace and safety and a sudden destruction is going to come upon them man so it's going to rise suddenly and who knows what the outcome of related to both of them man but you help Hashem Yashan know because ultimately um Amos 3 and 7. Let's get it real fast. Amos 3 and 6. Shalakia, 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? That trumpet is that warning. And the people be not afraid. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done and the Lord have not done it? So if it's evil in the city, because the Lord have done it. And part of that evil is, is that judgment, man. And that destruction, man. So if it's the evil destruction, um, and pretty much uh, forms of judgment happening, because the Lord allowed to happen, man. For the issues of death, man. Psalm 68 and on um, 20, man. Let's get it. Because the Lord executes issue, um, Relating to the um, issues of death, man. He that is our God is the God of salvation, and to God, the, the God, Lord Yahweh, belong the issues from death. So. So 
all those things belong from Yahweh Hashem Yashah, man. So if evil happens in the city because the Lord have done it, man, because he he issued that out um, for um, pro, um, Ecclesiastes 39 and 24, no, 28, 28, Shalakia, 28, um, for there, there be spirits created for vengeance, man. So the Lord has uh, executed forms of uh, spirits that will be created for vengeance, man. To what? To execute judgment upon the wicked, man. Because the Lord works both the righteous and unrighteous, good and evil, man. He controls both sides, man. The issues, the issues of death from, are from the Lord. How about Shem Yashah, man? So he is that left hand side, man. Verse 29 and 1 A man who hardens his neck after much reproof, correction will suddenly be broken beyond remedy. And that, poor, that pretty much is form of judgment, man. Because he didn't take heed, he didn't talk and didn't take heed relating to that correction, man. And be a stiff, and be a stiff necked, stubborn, rebellious, man. For example, the nation of Israel. So, ones who don't take the reproof, man, or the correction. The, the consequences they're gonna know it by death by pain, man. And that's that. That's that. The judgment of destruction upon them, man. Zechariah thirteen and eight. Two third part we be. Two third part will be cut off, and one third will be left it. One third will be left therein, and that one third will go into the fire. But two third part will be cut off. So sixty or sixty seven percent. That's symbolic for you know six 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 for that judgment, man. Isaiah go to Isaiah 30 13 therefore this iniquity will be into you like a breach about to fall the breach is something that pretty much has been compromised man and the bulge in a high wall whose collapse comes suddenly in an instant it's like that thing is getting ready to collapse you know what I mean um, something that's great busting um, is going to bust unexpectedly and that's how the judgment's going to come upon man it's going to be like that thing that's that breach is, that's going to collapse and pretty much for example like um, a busted um, uh, roof man leaking the water eventually the bulger gets bigger and bigger and it's eventually it's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, bust and collapse man that's how that judgment's going to come it's going to come when it's least expected, because it, it happens in an untimely manner, man. Read that again. Therefore, the iniquity will be into you like a breach upon to fall, and the bulge of a high wall who, whose collapse comes suddenly in an instant. So it's gonna it's gonna collapse and it's gonna come instant, just like judgment. Nine and twelve of uh, Ecclesiastes. Moreover, man does not know his time. Like fish caught in a, a treacherous net and birds trapped in a snare. So the sons of men are snared at the evil time when it suddenly falls upon them. So they're not going to know when certain things are going to come upon them, man. And they're going to be like those those um th that fish that's caught in that net they're gonna be like that birds that's caught in that trap man they're gonna be caught they're gonna be doing whatever they're doing and unsus unsuspectedly certain things are gonna come upon them man because no one knows their time no one knows their time when um forms of judgment can happen or it's their time to go that's why you wanna the scripture talks about um you seek 
you seek it, uh, you seek Yahweh Bashawisha early in thy youth while the evil's still far ahead, bud. Twenty-four and twenty-two, for their calamity will rise suddenly, and who knows the ruin that comes from both of them? I probably read that. So who knows the time? He knows the ruin of them. So it's going to come that calamity. Is that form of judging? Judgment. Second Andrews eight and fifty. For many great miseries shall be done unto them in the latter times, because they walked in great pride. Those miseries, part of those miseries, calamities, forms of uh, forms of different diverse diversities of judgment. Calamities, um, um, plagues and pestilence, famine, death and destruction, man. These are all forms of scourges. Scourges is a tool for implement for punishment. So different types of uh, scourges related to the different diversities or different type of diversities of, uh, of judgment that's going to happen, man. And that's just a few, man. Ecclesiastes 39 and 28 talk about uh, uh, the Lord will send a, uh, the Lord created spirits for vengeance, man. So part of those part of that vengeance, those spirits that create for vengeance, is to execute judgment. And part of those forms of judgment could be wild beast and different other uh, forms of calamity to execute upon what the wicked of the earth, man. Let me get um Isaiah 47 and 11 but evil will come on you which which you will know will not know how to charm away and disaster will fall on you for which you cannot atone and destruction about which you do not know will come on you suddenly. So these things you're not gonna know, you're not gonna be able to do anything about it, you're not gonna be able to charm it, or appease it, or try to do anything to pretty much um, to stop its purpose, man. For these things will come, will come so suddenly upon you, and that relates to these forms of judgment, man. Get um, limitations four and six for the iniquity of, of the daughter of my people is greater than the sin of Sodom, which was overthrown as a moment, and no hands were turned towards her. So, the iniquity has sin from the daughters of my people, daughters of Zion of my people, it's greater than um, the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah, man. That relates to the nation of Israel and their iniquities, man. And for the consequence of their iniquities was destruction, man. You know, different experience and different things because of uh, their disobedience to the Lord Yahweh man. Twenty four and twenty five. First the Thessalonians 5 and 3 again. While they are while they are saying peace and safety, because the people of society are gonna say it, they're gonna be saying peace and safety when things are looking like um, you know, trying to resume in a normal state. So they're gonna um, say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction comes upon them, like um 
like a woman in travail or labor pains upon a woman with a child and they shall not escape. So all these things are going to come upon them and they won't be able to escape these forms of judgment that's going to come upon them. So when they say, when they, when they think they're in, um, in a good place, then suddenly these evils will increase, man, as scripture says, man. And this talks about the inhabitants of the world, man. Inhabitants of the earth relating to forms of judgment that's going to happen by Yahweh, by Shem Yashah, man. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the for the devil's going to come down in great wrath, knowing but he has but but knowing that he has but a short time, man. So that's part of that judgment as well on the left hand side, Lord using the one in power, man, to execute her, their purpose, man. Because they're going to come in great wrath because they know what? They have but, but a short time. Short time for what? To implement their endeavors, their enterprises, man. Their purpose relating to fulfilling on the left hand side related to prophecy. So that's that. That's the Lord's left hand side as, as far as that sword. That it shall be like a sore slaughter in, in Ezekiel. So that's the left hand side of Yahweh Bashim Yashal, man. The carnal counterpart on the left hand side. One's in power. For, for the earth has been given to the hands of the wicked, man. The hands represents that power, man. And their hands, their blessing is the sword, and they're going to execute relating to judgment, man. On the left hand side, because the issues of death are from the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashal, Psalm 68 and 20. And. And they're fulfilling the purpose of Yahweh Bashim Yashah, man. This relates to a few scriptures relating to, um, you know, sudden destruction. Um, I hope it helps in some way, whoever listens. This is Brother Zayab, which means wolf. I give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yashah, Bashim Makakadash. Just something short. Uh, the waterful lesson, Shalom.